Okay, we got this trap put together finally. Well, sort of put together. Uh, you walk around a little bit. This is the gate. Um, we got it held over with a couple of rocks here. It's the same one I used on my other corral trap. That locks it. It's pretty heavy. Um, the spring here, this garage door spring, what that is, goes through a and the cable goes through a pulley and hooks on it, and that's what slams it shut. Um, I just put this together this afternoon. Let me get through right up here right quick. Uh, so we put it together. Everything's in place. I have a panel over there and a panel over there open. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to let this feeder run for about a week. Get the pigs used to coming in here. They should be coming in here pretty hot by then, I would think. Uh, show you a couple other things here. This is the uh, unloading gate. You back a trailer up to it, your uh, livestock trailer, okay? And the base of it will get about, about there. You open the back door of the trailer, back up to this, and you open this up, plop like that, pigs load right up. You know, in theory. Uh, they actually want out of there pretty bad. Just go in there and harass them a little bit and they'll come out. But you're looking at about four hours a piece to build these panels. So, <clears throat> and they're incredibly heavy. Uh, three of us moved them around a lot of grunt, and then I moved them where they needed to be when we were done. But uh, I think the next time I ask those guys and tell them I got some heavy labor to do they're gonna run. Uh, but, uh, yeah, these pins down here. Oh, let me show. Talk about those. What I've done. This is one of the holes I left open. Um, on the top here, I've got just a small pin there, either three eighths or half inch, uh, or five sixty, whatever the heck it is. A small um, rebar. Down here, I'm using five eighths. And then when I get it side exactly where I want it, I'll pound those into the ground a little bit. Um, I don't want them, see there's about six inches of space they've got there. And uh, it, it can go down in, in the ground. So I didn't want them being able to just start pounding the heck out of the thing and begin able to uh, get the but make a tight V and then on the inside, you know, if there's a tight corner, then they start piling up on each other and they'll climb out. So that's what that's about. Uh, so yeah, there's my trap or my sort of my feeder that I dropped and I motor broke. You know, I think I have another one. I'll fix that in a little while here. <clears throat> Big old cactus pile in here. I'm just gonna leave it here. Let the pigs will care much. They, they'll root around it and stuff. But it makes and they can get around the, the cactus pile. I'll give them something to run around. Something to do when they're in here, right? So, yep, that's it. Uh, there's, like I said, there's 10 of these panels. They're, they're 10 footers. Uh, most of the time you go to buy this 4x4 four four panel, it's in 16 foot length, so you gotta look or chop around a little bit to find the 20 footers. And you definitely want five feet high, because uh, otherwise they'll climb out of the four foot stuff. So, yeah, I hope this is strong enough. Like I say. You know, you can see, uh, uh, oh, shorty, we're running around circles here. What I've done for welding, it, every one of these four inch, these are four inch uh, squares, and there's a weld on every one of them, on the bottom, middle, and top rail, and on these lower sides, and I got a little lazy on the sides here, but they're going to hammer the crap out of that, so I didn't want to break it. So, all right, let's see if we can catch some pigs in this. Oh, comment, rate, like, and subscribe. I gotta go set up my other trap now.